Rams and Giants look ahead. L.A. was a six-point favorite. We've seen some dog money come in since, and maybe that's because of the Tommy DeVito move. Maybe the books or the, the ratings here, Fez, you can give me a, a solid answer with Terod Taylor. Maybe they view him to have a little bit more upside. The Giants did battle against the Eagles. It'll be a short week for them. The Rams have a long week after playing last Thursday and covering against the Saints at home. So the net rest advantage factors in here, but fresh legs with Terod Taylor. Uh, Fez, I'll start with you. Can you kind of quantify that situation for me, going from DeVito to Taylor this week? Yeah, so I have DeVito minus four, four points worse than an average quarterback. That puts him, Zappy, Bryce Young, you know, right at the bottom of my NFL starting quarterbacks. I have Tyrod Taylor better. Um, a very good backup quarterback, minus two and a half. So that's a point and a half upgrade, yeah. and that probably explains why we're seeing this move, which I initially favored the Rams. I made this game six and a half, and yet the market's moving the wrong way versus my numbers. Well, it's probably moving the right way because Taylor's such a better option. Uh, because the market's going against my numbers and with the quarterback situation, I passed the game. Mm. Oh, I think uh, I think this line will – I think there's people waiting for this line to hit four, and they'll come back pretty strong on a four if they see it. Uh, I think that that'll be the tipping point. Uh, I, have the, I have value in the Rams. They're certainly playing – uh, at a top level uh, over recent history. Uh, they're the number two team uh, gaining over the last five weeks in my model. And uh, I don't think anybody wants to play them in the playoffs, uh, regardless of yeah. uh, whether they're at home or on the road. So uh, the I, I think Tyrod is a definite upgrade. I think that that uh, makes their offense a little bit uh, better and uh, I think we're going to see, I mean, if you watch the Rams game against New Orleans, Stafford was working miracles. I mean, he's threading needles. That offense is clicking. They've got the running game going. They've got the passing game going. That's a solid offense. We know that they're going to score and the Giants can give up some points. And I think that the, uh, the Rams defense, as we saw, New Orleans ran up and down the field on them. And if they hadn't shot themselves in the foot by, you know, failing on three, fourth down attempts and uh and i think another pick I, that game would have been a different story so uh, i think that there's going to be some scoring in this game so i like the over and i also like the rams to win this game uh but uh, goofy things happen this is situationally not a good spot for the rams so uh, i'm gonna money line parlay the rams and I'm going to do the same thing I did last week. I'm going to do it with the Philadelphia first half money line. And that's going to be a minus 113 proposition. So the Rams money line with Philadelphia first half money line. You know, there's it's a bad travel spot for the Rams. I agree. But it is a 10-6 rest game. So you got four yeah. extra rest days, Thursday <laughs> versus true. Monday, which certainly supports the Rams. Might support the Rams second half, actually. That was literally the last line of my notes to follow up with you. I, plus four net rest advantage for the Rams in this game. Um, the most rest advantage you can have in a one-week scenario. So I, I, I don't know if that matters at all. McVay, I think, is a good coach, right? I, but I think Brian Dable is a good coach, too. I don't know if that cancels it out at all. And the fact that the, that the Giants are the home team, so you get four extra days of rest advantage, but one of those days is a travel day, right, Fez? Does that kind of cancel it out at all? You know, I all things being equal, I just think when, when it's four extra days, I would much rather have that time than have to fly across the country. And yeah, and frankly, I agree. you know, this is a time of year, Christmas and New Year's, and we saw this on Christmas Day. You know, it's tough being home for the holidays. I know you're spending the night in the hotel room, but you're still, you know, coordinating with your family about how you're going to spend Christmas or New Year's and everything. And I think that that's a major problem uh, for, for all the players who are at home. I, I, I saw that podcast with uh, Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce when Garnett was talking about how tough Christmas Day was for the NBA guys on the road. I mean, I don't have a ton of sympathy for them because they're getting paid millions of dollars. But uh, it maybe that plays a factor more Christmas than New Year's. But we'll see uh, how it plays out this week. It looks like Chris is going to uh, take the Rams on a money line parlay. Uh, Fez and I laying off this game between the Giants and the Rams on Sunday at MetLife. Let's move on. Oh, Found you know what? I want to correct it. I forgot the uh, oh. the uh, the All Rams right. over is not an official play for me. I thought it was. I forgot okay. that they had the 43 and a half uh, for the show purposes. So uh, yes. just to be clear 40. on that. 